हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉर्शन इन थिन सिलेंडिकल शेल्स द थिन सिलेंडिकल शेल्स व्हिच हैव हुफ स्ट्रेसेस एंड लॉन्गिट्यूडिनल स्ट्रेसेस ऑलरेडी आर देयर ड्यू टू द प्रेशर इंटरनल प्रेशर फ्लूइड प्रेशर एंड नाउ वी हैव अप्लाइड अ टॉर्क ऑन द शेल and what will be the stress condition what is the variation in the stress condition of the uh, thin cylindrical shells when a torque is also applied to the shells right so suppose uh, this is a thin cylindrical shell uh, suppose uh, we are showing here this shell is there like this and we have applied a torque to this thin cylindrical shell talk to this thin cylindrical shell like this like so this has some thickness like this is thin cylindrical shell thin cylindrical shell is there thin cylindrical shell is there and we have applied apart from the internal pressure we have applied a torque to it torque is applied right and it is given to us torque right and we want to find out we want to find out what are the stresses what are the stress condition in this case when we are applying a torque when the torque is applied when torque is applied apart from that uh, the stresses hoop stresses and longitudinal stresses when the torque is applied what is happening is there are now three stress conditions are there on the plane right on the plane there are three stress conditions are there apart from tensile stresses there are shear stress also right you know that uh, in the chapter of torsion we have studied about the shear stresses when torque is applied the material uh, gets shear off right so it will try to shear off the material so there will be apart from hoop stresses tensile stresses there will be these are the longitudinal stress there will be some shear stress developed in the material so this is the shear stress tau and there will be complementary shear stress will be there so this shear stress this shear stress are changing the variations right now it is not a principal stress now sigma we cannot design the shell based on sigma h because sigma h is not now the principal stresses this is some tensile stress right so the maximum principal stress will be acting at certain angle right and the value of that is given by the relation we already know that principal stresses are given by sigma 1 sigma 2 that is given by you should know the formula that and now this is sigma h and sigma l so i am writing in this term also so this is sigma h plus sigma l by 2 plus minus under the root sigma h minus sigma l by 2 whole square plus tau square and sigma t max or tau max tau max or sigma t max will be given by this term under the root sigma h minus sigma l by 2 whole square plus tau square so this we have already studied in principal stresses chapter so you should go in these chapters so now our criteria of design will not be the sigma h which was a case uh, with the thin cylinders when there was no torsion was there but because there is torsion here and there is some shear stress developed at the plane of sigma h so there will be principal stresses acting at certain another plane and that principal stress is given by these stresses right one is maxima and another is minima right sigma 1 sigma 2 is equal to sigma h by sigma l 2 and so on right and tau max will be given by this equation right so now design criteria will be this if the this cylinder is poor has low strength in shear stress then this formula will be used and it has low strength in uh, tensile stresses then this formula will be used right so this is the stress design criteria for cylinders under torsion 
and sigma h sigma l is known to us this value is known to us that sigma h is given by sigma h is given by pd by 2t and sigma l is given by pd by 4t that is known to us right but but what is the value of tau shear stress if we are applying a torque and it is given to us so what will be the value of shear stress how to find out the value of shear stress in this case value of shear stress other values are known to us sigma h is known to us we know the value of sigma h we have already studied we know the value of sigma l we have already studied sigma l but what is the value of tau the value of tau how to find out tau right so shear stress to be found out right how to find out shear stress we know the torsion formula torsion formula you should remember torsion equation that t by j equal to tau by r equal to g theta upon l right l is the length so uh, leave it and use this formula that shear stress shear stress is given by t and r is the radius and j is the polar moment of inertia and for hollow cylinder the polar moment of inertia is given by that is equal to pi by 32 outer dia to the 4 minus inner dia to the power 4 and we are given with inner dia inner dia and thickness inner dia is given to us and also thickness is given to us now we have to use uh, d and t and not capital d right so some terms can be neglected because the thickness is very small you know that thickness is given by thickness is generally less than uh, d by 20 so it is very small so some terms can be neglected when we simplify this so d what is d what is this d capital d outer diameter that is small d plus t plus t right so this is t plus 2t so j can be written as j the polar moment of inertia can be written as pi by 32 uh, d plus 2t power 4 minus small d to the power 4 so that will be equal to uh, we can write uh, d plus 2t square and then square right we can write uh, here pi by 32 d plus 2t square and then square again squaring minus d to the power 4 right again we can solve it pi by 32 d plus 2 to the power 4 uh, square right so we can write d square plus 4 t square plus 4 dt 4 dt square square of this minus d to the power 4 right now here this term is very small square of very small term square of t will be further small right because t is very small so, 4t square can be neglected so this term can be neglected and other term can be squared so j can be written as pi by 32 squaring of these two terms so d to the power 4 plus square of this 16 d square t square again t square came it can be neglected and plus 8 d cube t d cube t minus d cube power 4 and again this term here t square is there again this term can be neglected right again this term can be neglected and uh, this d4 d4 will cancel out this d4 and this d4 will be cancel out you will get 8 d cube t here and 8 32 will become 4 
so you will get pi by 4 d cube t so j will come out to be so this implies that the j will come out to be j will be equal to pi by 4 pi by 4 d cube t d cube t so this is the polar moment of inertia of a thin cylinder pi by 4 d cube t right so polar moment of inertia of thin cylinder so remember it now we want tau shear stress because in this relation we want shear stress what is the value of tau this value tau right so what is the value of this tau shear stress we want this value so shear stress is given by t r by j because this uh, thickness is very small thickness is very small so we can assume that although shear stress varies shear stress varies as the distance varies radius varies and it is maximum at the outer radius but here because the thickness is small we can assume that the shear stress is almost constant in the uh, small thickness t right so assuming assuming shear stress to be constant uniform in small thickness t thickness of the material t so what we can do is we can use this r as a internal radius actually tau will be obtained tau max will be obtained in the outer radius but because this, this is small thickness so we can use this d by 2 so now right so tau can be written as tau can be written as t multiplied by small radius uh, inner radius that is d by 2 divided by pi by 4 pi by 4 d cube t so this will be equal to from here we can find out the shear stress in a uh, thin cylinder at which a torque t is applied so shear stress will be equal to 4 will come in numerator so 2 t 2 t upon pi d square t pi d square t right so this is the shear stress and that is important shear stress of thin pressure vessel and this is 2 t by pi d square t so this shear stress value will be used in this equation so while designing purpose we will be needing the principal stresses or shear stresses maximum shear stresses so maximum principal stresses uh, will be obtained by using this equation so here we will be needing three terms sigma h the hoop stresses sigma l the longitudinal stresses and tau the shear stresses right at any material due to that torque applied there is some shear stress extra shear stresses there so hoop stress is given by pd by 2t we already know that longitudinal stress is given by pd by 4t it is known to us this term we have derived that how shear stress can be found out in terms of a thin cylindrical shell and this tau will be 2t upon pi d square t right put these values this this and this in this equation and you will get the maximum principal stress for designing the thin pressure vessels with the application of torsion